Hi guys, I thought I would bring you along for this unboxing. This is a kind of a weird unboxing maybe, but um, I found something that I have actually heard about uh, probably almost a year ago. And I thought it sounded really cool when I heard about it, but I didn't really think that I needed one and I still probably don't need one. But, and I know that I'm butchering the name, but it's a sous vide, and I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it is a new way <laughs> to cook meat so that it's supposed to be, like, really good. And I got it from QVC, so let me take this down here. Um, there is a cook on QVC whose name is the Blue Jean Cook or something like that. And I saw her talking about this, and I thought, well, you know what? If she likes it, I will probably like it. And this is it. It's the Cook's Essentials Sous Vide Precision Cooker. And it feels like there's something in here, so. Oh, these are the bags. I will keep this. There's bags and there's this little contraption that I think like takes the air out. Yeah, you put this here and then you can suck the air out of your bag with this. Um, which is all supposed to be part of the cooking process. So clearly I'm not going to be using this today on any recipes, but hopefully in the future I will try it and we will love it, I hope. So let's see what this bad boy looks like. Okay, so it's a little bigger than I expected it to be. I thought it was gonna be about the size of an emulsion blender, but it's a little bigger and it has a min line and a max line. I mean, it's not huge. It's not gonna take up a ton of space in your kitchen, which is another reason why I liked it. It has some little buttons up here. I'm sure this is power and temperature and you can increase or decrease or you can maybe stop it or start it from that. And what is this? Oh, this is a little clamp that you would use to put on the side of your pot. And then I'm thinking that this fits inside like so. Oh, there's a little catch right here that catches it. So this will fit into, into a pot and this just hangs on the side of your pot. And I think it can be a pot. It can be a, um, like a bucket. I've seen people use like a bucket. So I'm just trying to fit this back down in here. I don't know why I'm probably not going to store it in its box, but at least this way I know it's protected. Hmm. Okay, so let's look at the packaging together. So it says, remove everything, clean the stainless steel body, unplug the appliance, blah, blah, blah. Do not touch any of the metal surfaces while the appliance is in operation. Do not move or cover the appliance while it's in operation. And here's a picture of obviously a at least partial T-bone steak. It looks like they cut off some of it and some rosemary and they have it in this bag and it's vacuum packed around it. So let's see. This is the control panel, the upper body, the stainless steel lower body, water circulation vents, and the pot holding clamp, temperature control, time control, and start stop button. Vacuum seal system, there's small bags, large bags, bags, air valve, 
the bag seal, oh, which is this, the pump, and place the ingredients in the bag, carefully and thoroughly close the, close the seal of the bag, then place on a smooth, flat surface with the air valve facing up. Position the pump spout directly on the air valve and press firmly down to ensure that a good seal is formed. Pump the handle in an up and down motion, maintaining a good seal between the spout and the air valve. Air, val air will begin to leave the bag. Continue to process until as much air is removed as possible. And then you will place the clamp on your pot and affix to the container with the screw, attach the appliance to the clamp, and add water to the max line. So that's what the water, the minimum max line, those that's what the water is. Plug in the appliance, and then you can set your temperature. After ten, eight seconds, the sous vide will begin heating automatically with the default time of eight hours. To set another specific time, proceed to step four, so you could adjust all of that. I will reread this when it's time for me to actually use it. And there's temperature and time gate guides for specific foods. Here's some chicken breast without bone, 147 degrees for an hour, and then it says holding time is an hour. Uh, chicken thighs, about the same. Uh, there's lobster, shrimp, shellfish, pork, beef, and longer cooking times may result in altered food texture. Um, Tells you how to clean it, tips and tricks. The sous vide cooking requires foods to be vacuum sealed to ensure that excess air and moisture are removed. Vacuum sealing also ensures that the natural taste and nutritional value is maintained. Never immerse the plastic clamp into water. Make sure it's mounted above the water line. Use high quality fresh meats. Safely defrost any frozen meat before meal preparation begins. Make sure that the vacuum bags are clean and have not been contaminated and you are allowed to reuse them. Um, but yeah, I don't know how that works. Season foods to ensure their flavor. Ensure that the vacuum bags are completely sealed before cooking. Now I do have a vacuum sealer. I have. Um, one of those food prep things, so I'm not sure if I could use that too. I'm thinking I probably could. So here are some ideas. Garlicky roast corn, the best sous vide carrots, simple lemon thyme chicken, sous vide steak, filet mignon, kosher salt, pepper, garlic powder. I mean, that looks fabulous to me. Seasons this, season the steak. Set to the desired temperature and begin your steaks in a vacuum sealed bags. While the steaks are cooking, prepare the garlic butter. Mix and soften the butter with minced garlic. Remove the steaks when ready. Heat a cast iron skillet over high heat with one or two tablespoons of olive oil. And once the oil is hot, quickly sear the steaks on each side. Top the steaks with the butter compound and let rest to serve. Now, what this does, from what I understand, is cooks meats to the perfect temperature, the perfect, like if you like it medium, or if you want it medium rare, or if you want it well done, you can do all the different cooking styles to make it perfect for you. And it does not put a browned, like crisp edge on the outside. After you've cooked it in the sous vide, you then take it to the grill or take it to the cast iron skillet and put the sear on it. And it's supposed to be a wonderful, wonderful way of cooking and be awesome. So I'm not really sure. This was about $100, just so you guys know. I think it was a little less than that. Um, and through QVC, they did offer, like, I think five easy payments or something. I just went ahead and paid for it because I don't really like the easy payments. 
Um, I always forget that they're coming out and I just don't, and then I'm wondering why I spent $15 on something. I mean, it's great if it's a ton of money, but, and $100 isn't anything to sneeze at, but if I can't pay for the $100 thing up front, I just wait until I can because I don't want to, to have the $15 things taken out. So, um, I don't know how this is going to be, but I thought that with my new stomach and all of that, that this might be something that I would like to try. It's kind of funny that they have sous vide fries because I can't imagine doing that. I would prefer that, I think, in, and then it even says deep fry your potatoes in the coconut oil. See, why would you even worry about that? That seems very, and it sous vide for 45 minutes until perfectly tender. Good grief. I'll just use my air fryer. But yeah, so I don't know. I got it mostly for meat because I figure that um, I'd like to have tender, easy to eat meat. And I did hear wonderful things about it. I heard um, there's a couple people at work that have it and they love it. So that's really what did it. But then when I saw her on QVC talking about it, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give this a try. So again, this is the sous vide pre precision cooker. And um, you might look it up if you're interested in seeing some different recipes or whatever. Look it up online and it will show you what it does and how it works. But I'm kind of excited about it. I'd like to try it and see what it does and see if it is something that will work for my little family. Um, and if not, then, you know, at least I gave it a try. But um, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I haven't had like real meat yet, like steak or anything. But um, I know that I will get high quality meat just because my new stomach, I want to make sure that it is given the best that I can buy. I can't eat very much anyway, so I will get good quality meat and then I thought this would be a really good way to cook it. So there we go. That's what I got and I hope that you guys like it. And if you guys know any recipes or if you guys have tried it, please leave a comment below and let me know. I'd love to hear some positive things about it or even some negative things or some tips or whatever. So let me know. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.